experience the beauty of the highlands as we visit many of the area's life-giving habitats, its forests, high peaks, meadows, wetlands, and waters. The highlands were formed during prehistoric times. The great upheavals, uplifting, and later glacial actions left a legacy of water-rich terrain. Growing in these special places are many varieties of native plants. Native plants are an essential link in the panorama of life in our New Jersey highlands. Insects and pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, would not survive without native plants which share their evolutionary history. Native plants are key to the survival of many creatures. Our tour highlights the various types of highlands habitats and depicts a range of native flora and fauna and some are endangered. One endangered species habitat near the highlands in Sussex County contains a globally rare plant found nowhere else. It is the yellow claytonia called Hammond's Spring Beauty after the botanist who discovered the plant. The site is now preserved by the Nature Conservancy. Dwarf ginseng should not be confused with American ginseng, which is rare in our woodlands because the root has been collected for export to China.
This plant has several other common names, black cohosh, black snake root, and was favored by Native Americans for its medicinal properties. Indian pipes, a saprophyte, gets its nourishment from decayed organic material through a fungal relationship associated with plant roots. This plant is a parasite that lives on the roots of other plants. White snake root blooms late in the summer and grows along wood edges. It is one plant that deer leave alone. It contains barium sulfate and is toxic to cows who produce poisonous milk if eaten. In favorable forest settings, native rhododendrons will grow taller than a man. The driest plant habitats in the highlands are those that occur in the high peaks and rocky ridges. Prickly pear and New Jersey cactus is found on rocky peaks. Wetlands are the most ecologically productive habitats in the highlands and are home to many special plants and animals. Skunk cabbages grow in marshy woods and wetlands. In late winter, look for the brown flower. The leaves, growing rapidly, produce heat and often appear through the snow. A decaying log in a wetland becomes a nursery for many other new plants. Swamp pink is a federally endangered species. In some open meadow wetlands, ironweed grows profusely and makes a blanket of purple. Any insect that lands on a sundew's leaf is hopelessly trapped. The sticky hairs bend down and the plant's digestive system converts the insect into food. Insects are attracted to the pitcher plant's lip, which collects water. They fall in and are unable to crawl upward, 
eventually drowning. Many beautiful plants grow near streams and in the riparian corridors of bodies of water. These waterways provide drinking water for many New Jersey citizens. All the water flowing through the Rockaway River watershed comes down to the gorge in Boonton, where it then enters the large reservoir owned by the city of Jersey City. Where two leaves grow together, a flower will develop. These bloom very early in the spring, and then the plant goes dormant soon after. In late summer, cardinal flowers are abundant along stream sides. Brook trout, young of the year, found in streams indicate very high quality waters. Wood turtles are a threatened species in New Jersey. The tiny young are hatched in water, but soon move to moist woodlands. Beaver have been at work here. The fallen tree is then used in building their dams and lodges. In late summer and fall, the highlands, fields, and meadows are filled with many colorful wildflowers, as well as bees, dragonflies, and butterflies. Junk pie was a Native American medicine man. The plant is often seen growing with goldenrod and asters. The crushed leaves smell of vanilla. The monarch butterfly, here shown on echinacea and aster, cannot survive without the milkweed plant which nurtures its larva. Gentians bloom in late summer and early fall. The color is as blue as the autumn skies. This slight blooming plant is a member of the orchid family. Echinacea and the American lady butterfly. Butterfly weed and the great spangled fritillary.